celebrations are encouraged, let's just say, in the world of NASCAR. Exactly. Um, they raced at uh, what's a kilometer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they raced at Indianapolis this week for well, the Cup Series ran the Brickyard 400. But that was going to be first. That was yeah. Well, um, before we get into the Cup Series, because obviously that was a lot more exciting. Yes. Um, Quickly run through Xfinity. But um, Xfinity, Shane Van Gisbergen, shout out P4. I think that's his personal best for an yep. oval so far. Yep. He, we would he would have got top ten last week, but got taken out or something like that. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so to see him back up there. And he, he actually was in the top five for the majority of the race, which was fantastic to see. So it's not just luck or anything. It's He's genuinely improving, which is fantastic. Um, so curious to see how he does next time out. But uh, no, there was a cool battle between Herbs and Custer throughout the race. Um, Last lap as well. Exactly. And yeah. uh, Herbs was able to claim, claim that in front of Cole Custer. Uh, and then we got uh, Al Mirola in third position with Gizzy in fourth. Uh, and then Creed in fifth with Austin Hill, my my man, my the guy who I'm not really a fan of, uh, in sixth oh, position. And then we got Di in seventh, Ormondinger in eighth with Olgeo ninth and Kavapel in tenth. And I'm just sitting here going, yeah, of course, sure. That sounds great. And I'm yeah. like, who are these people? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should have done that in the Kimia voice. Because <laughs> yeah, he raced I mean, in Asgard too I'm, once. I'm just sitting time. here going, leave me alone. Yeah, leave yeah. me alone. There we go. <laughs> um but uh yeah not not much happened in Xfinity um still it was fantastic to watch I think, cool. what I, I think what I've learned about the track of Indianapolis is to win the race you got to be second on the sec on the last lap because yeah. everyone wins from P2 it's really odd or well, not strange, odd. It's slipstream obviously wins you the race but yeah just that's so what... many people leading into turn one on the last lap just like don't bother that's how that's what that's what makes the ovals very exciting too yeah. is it, they're, they're neck and neck till the very last minute. We've seen some very, very close finishes this this year. Oh yeah, um, extremely close. I think. And speaking of that, Cole Larson, I think was one of them, um, who actually also claimed the race win this weekend for the Cup Series. Um, yeah, true. His car looks so cool. I love his, I love his paint jobs, his liveries. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, now it was a definitely a crash field race. Uh, starting off with um, where's tire? Um, it literally went on a smoke oak. I like to call it because where's the tire, tire ended up where's on the, the grass. Way, his last name is Where, not Where's his tire. <laughs> if you're confused, Where is Where's tire? Yeah, um, where's, where's the tire? He also had a Wait, yeah, Where, Where's the tire? He had three wheels on his car. Did we get his we three wheels did, on my wagon. We found it. We found, found the tire. It. Yeah, so it, was on, it was on the grass. You remember uh, when Barry Sheen? Three wheels on my wagon. Three wheels on my wagon. And uh, I think that's when Marcus Ambrose had that famous yeah, and then the tire moment. The tire landed on the pit. On the, yeah, that, oh, that's that my classic. That's yeah. what I was <laughs> reminding. Yeah. I watch that every time I'm having a bad day. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I say it because he went on the smoker because the tire was literally oh in the middle, in the in air the, there. It was in the infield smoking. So there you go. Yeah, it was. On, it was. Um, but uh, people smoking as well. Joey Logano, he was quite fired up after Bubba Wallace blocked him like there's no tomorrow. Um, Did you guys watch what I told you to watch on Netflix, by the way, about Bubba Wallace? Not yet. Not yet. I don't have Netflix, so. No. Yeah, that's my no, excuse. We will. <laughs> I will do. Um, I guess I've got to do some pirating, but uh, even that's tricky these days. <laughs> but, but back to the thing. Um, Bubba Wallace, yep, annoyed Joe Logano. Um, uh, yeah, that was really risky. He's lucky um, an accident didn't happen there. Um, but didn't matter anyway because Logano crashed anyway. Big shunt with uh, Jimmy Johnson, um, which Jimmy was huge. Johnson. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson. Really? Is mm -hmm. he back? Well, he's no longer after crashing. Well, yeah, <laughs> <He's but> no, <laughs> he's he back. was back, oh, and wow. now he's gone. See accident. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, but Jimmy yeah, Johnson. So yeah, that was quite big. And then Bush, um, the man who seems to be involved in all sorts of incidents, um, he was actually set to do very well today. Um, yesterday, actually, or technically today. Um, but crashed out by, with a little touch with Dem Denny Hamlin, which was uh, really unfortunate for him. Um, speaking of him, as we said ages ago, he could be potentially coming to the Adelaide 500, maybe. Um, nothing much has been said about I that. I think but, that they need a NASCAR um, drive. It would be so cool. That would yeah. be really yeah. cool. Because uh, we've... I think we're we're in for a spectacle, you know, for the oh, LA yeah. 500. It's I think a they're major uh, event. gearing up. Uh, have, they haven't announced yet to the major... The major like show afterwards, haven't they? Like yeah, the yeah. isn't it? Um, Cold Chisel. Yeah. yeah, is it? Yeah, oh, it's been announced. Mm. Yeah, it got been. announced when um, that reveal. I'm pretty sure that you went to Alex. Yeah, no, that was, was just for Speedway. Was it just for? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not too long after that, though. Anyway, there you go. But uh, yeah, no, that'll be. But overall, because we see um, supercar drivers go on there, 
Yes. Um, and speaking like that, Will Brown, sensational job in Sonoma ages ago. So we see how good they can do around a road course. I want to see how good the NASCAR drivers can do around a road course in a Gen 3 supercar. I don't think it'll be as good. It, no, we've seen, uh, yeah. well, we've seen the likes of uh, Alexander yeah. Rossi and James Hinchcliffe from the Nat, from the IndyCar. I'd love to, to race. see Perez. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We can't let him if you're willing to pay for way. his damage bill, <laughs> yeah. go for I mean, it. That, that, that would be funny though. Ugh. Who would fund that? No, <laughs> Not I, even Red Bull would have funded. I hope that one day, like you know, when Ricardo's Formula One career is over, that he does actually, you know, come yeah. through. He needs that'll be either that or Nazcar because you guys remember when Casey US. Stoner did, a yeah, it was Super, Super Two, two yeah, Super two, 2013, so. yeah, didn't do very well though. No, 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 no. um, <laughs> and then he, I think he did he survive the whole year or did he just. No, I think he halfway. did. No, I think he did. Um, because that car looked really cool. Yeah, I really liked it. He was the, that's back when Top Gear did they did, had their Sydney shows yeah, at Sydney Motorsport Park. Perfect. Yeah. And they Jamie Winkup used Casey Stoner's car around the track alongside Mark Webber or something like that. The car looked cool, but uh, pace not so much. But uh, no. yeah, another yeah, another brilliant uh, round of Indy cars. Yeah, so uh, and NASCAR and NASCAR. Yeah. So so let's quickly before we wrap the show up, let's dive into the top ten from the Cup series uh so larson won that one uh, i'd love to see him in a supercar actually uh reddick in p2 with blaney in third bell fourth and bubba wallace in fifth gillian in sixth with Cindric in seventh jores seven uh, eight sorry gregson in ninth and elliot is your 10 and uh well that is the end of our show yeah, after a, a massive massive weekend of Great. motorsport and like i said we are doing our v8 supercar and formula one in-depth podcasts uh might be a double header see how we go um but do check out our social medias to stay up to date with that you can just follow us on let's talk motorsport uh, it's usually the yellow icon uh slipstream motorsports also have your socials as well they're pretty yep. much the same thing um, same title and stuff everywhere. Uh, you also got a YouTube. Uh, we've also got our socials as well, which if you're watching on Spotify, you'll see on the screens at the beginning of this pod. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic weekend overall. Um, of course, next week's a bit, a lot more quieter. A lot more quieter, um, but we obviously, you know, we have a lot to talk about, about, you know, upcoming events that oh, are coming. Exactly. You know, we've got um, our national championship. We're slowly, slowly, you know, it's getting finally uh, almost time for, for the home round. It's coming quick. Um, yeah, plenty, plenty of things to discuss. A few updates, uh, um, and of course, you know, silly season. You know, and, and, then, uh, and then Spa, and we're yeah, F one well. racing, so we'll have a lot of like twenty minute chat about Perez anyway. So yeah, I'm sure yeah. he'll give us everything yeah. to talk about. Well, yeah. we'll talk about much scrub strategy. Remember again? like the Conor McGregor ripping the contract like that and yelling into the into the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah that will be that's um, Christian Horner. <laughs> that's Christian Horner. <laughs> Check it flag. Rip. Exactly. Um, <laughs> See ya. <laughs> who knows, Christian Horner? Because he he actually drove the car at Goodwood, so he might. Replace Checo if no one can do <laughs> and it. And still perform better than him. Exactly. Yeah, he didn't crash. Um, oh, by the way, before we wrap this up, did you see Yuki Tsunoda in that Red Bull? Um, he had the open face helmet at Goodwood. Did he? Yeah, he, oh, he, he hopped into Sergio Perez's Red Bull out of all, all the Red Bulls. He hopped into Sergio's. Wasn't um, no, no, I know, right? <laughs> what? But Yuki looks so tiny in that. I just want to point that out. That's but uh, no, nah, so uh, thanks everyone who's tuned in. Like I said, stay tuned next week for our Formula One show and then we'll get some other things to fill in as well. It's still going to be a big show. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone who has tuned in, whether you're on the radio, podcasts, on Spotify and YouTube, or you're just following us for the first time. Hope you enjoyed your experience and we'll catch you all next week for some more Most Watch Chat. Thanks, yeah. Alex and Ivan, and uh, bye for now. See you guys.